Okay guys, sorry about the last video. I accidentally pressed pause instead of, I mean, I accidentally pressed stop instead of pause, but this is what I got up to. So this is like part two now. So this is the book. Um, and now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making, and this is how this turned out as well. So I found my bone folder by the way. I'm going to be just turning an old, just an old envelope into um, a little place to tuck something. Um, so it's just one from my birthday. I actually quite like the colour that's on the outside. So you just get an old envelope. How big is this one? Whatever size suits your journal, put it in there and I'm making like a little door. So I want to put, um, I've got some of the journaling card in here. I'd like to cut up that and put that on the actual thing and then cut it in half so it actually closes it somehow. I made a something similar in um, my last one. But this is going to be just a teeny little bit different. I'm just going to figure out how I'm going to do it. So, what I would like on here is um, some nice papers. That's from this Stamperia patchwork. It's a, I bought it last year and I've been wanting to use it. So, um, yeah, might as well utilise some of this because I would like to put something on here. Okay, how wide is that? Thought that door would have been good. So that's one and uh, one and a half, one and three quarters. Oh. Probably don't need that. It's not that big. This bit off because I like the other end. There we go. I don't even know, I might be able to use that. Okay, one and not a half, one and three quarters. One and a half. There we go. Not quite three quarters. One and a half is there, and then a little bit over the top. Like it's a bit big. Is it too big? No, it's about right. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is get the glue stick. to get more glue stick. Because I want to put that pink stuff in the middle. So I'll go from here. Because that's going to be going up. Well, I want that there. Um, I don't have to go around. I can just go straight, which continues on from here, actually. There we go. And then ink that as well. on the inside if you actually see that part and this way it doesn't really matter if you've got something on the back here because um, it's going to go straight into the book okay now what I want to do now that I've got that on there is to fold that down Now, what I 
the block on here. Probably even put a couple of little tags in there. Is some double sided tape. I just don't know it's going to stay down. Wonder if I put some there as well. Actually, I might put some glue on this part here. part making ephemera. I make something a little bit different every time but there we go because we don't want to see in underneath. I quite like this colour. It goes really well with that and it's got that rustic colour about it. But I have got this Well, I think. Let's see how we go. Whether that even fits. I think I'm gonna I've got another can that fit. Yes. Okay, well that saves me having to make a tag. She can take that one out and um, put um, A, um, a picture or a photo or whatever in there but she can add a photo to the back of this or can just journal on it this is the beauty of getting something like a Stamperia um, pack it has tags and everything already done so it makes your life so much easier so I'll get this journal out to her a lot quicker than what I would if I had to make all my ephemera and everything myself, which I st still will. I'm going to do some collaging in that. See, that's going to go in there like that. Just this. It does seem a bit of a shame to cut it up, but I think it is perfect. And I think I may have a key somewhere. Look, a little wooden key, which I might even attach with a bit of string. From my little wooden embellishments that you get from Kazar Craft or wherever. So I might even have a key in this lot. I'll have a look. Um, probably be better if it's not wooden because it'll lay flat then. So I've got that. We could probably make some little journaling cards. Let's look. Put the side, unless they will fit. Probably a bit too wide. I definitely want to have um, something like this. Dream big. And I'm going to have special day and all that kind of stuff so I'll be using these since it is for a, a special journal I'll need some special papers so sweet okay that's going to go on the front there and then I might even make some little tags, I think, to go on the side. Now I've just got to figure out a way how I'm going to get the heart on there. Yeah. 
just seems a bit of a waste, doesn't it? Should probably use that. Oh, what? It's fairly plain paper, so see, here's what you've got. And then made it to look like it was always meant to be this way. Oop. You tear it. And then use the edges. Okay. I'm just wondering if some of these could go on that other side. Like there and there. Might look cute. Cut it in half. Nothing goes to waste here. There goes my tummy. And then this bit here. Go on the other side. Not, not perfect, but you're using what you've got, which is always a good thing. There we go. Looks like it's always meant to be that way, hey? Now, you know what? Let's see this door. If I cut that down a little bit, I think that's going to be a perfect journaling size for a card. I was thinking of putting it on the front, but I think it'd make a good journaling card. Now it's got all to do with home. I'll fit into this side maybe. Now it's going to prove difficult. Uh, it'll fit. Okay, at least I've got the right size. Okay, mix those up. Yeah. Tear that up a bit. So it looks like it's meant to be that way. I think I'm going to tear that bit off. There we go. So you've got either side. And that that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, now we need to find something for the other side. Now this is going to be the closure. Still gotta figure out how we're gonna do that. Now yeah, I knew I had some keys. Little wooden keys. I'm gonna stick that on the front as well with maybe a bit of ribbon or something like that. Just to I like the wooden colour. There we go. They from Kaiser craft those little those little bits and pieces. Now, see there you go, it didn't go to waste. Um, 
Now I just need to glue these down. I was actually thinking, because it is rustic, we could get a little bit of a little bit of lace or something like that underneath as well. Just to in the corner, whatever. Um, This one, quite like that. What do we think of that? We're putting it over the top. We just need something. Oh, just whack it. So indecisive. Drive myself nuts. There we go. This one's got the heart on there, so it's, that's going to be okay. And we're doing big. Such a cute little range. I love it. Right down, same with that actually. I reckon I'm going to use this on the front because I haven't really got anything on there. Yeah. Journaling card there. That's going to need some. Um, tuck the journal on. That might even be the perfect size, you know. Oh, so there you go, that's a leftover bit that I um, had for here. See, nothing goes to waste. We just got to figure out what we're going to put on there. So, what I do need to do is, that sort of looks like it's open, I may have to sew around this baby. So it looks like it's um, coming apart there. Now what I wanted to do, where's that heart? somehow so that it will um, have that on there like that how are we going to do this people how are we going to do this Hold it in half, maybe. Glue it on one side. Like this bit of paper. Hold, fold it like that. Glue that on one side. And then that will be like something that can hold it down. And then maybe have this holding it down. I don't know. Hmm. What is it? What else does it need? Got some really cute little images here. And I might 
might want to wrap that around the um the key and we'll have a look what we've got in this So got um, got these ones as well. So I quite like. Um, there is a camera, which may be a nice one on there, and there's a camera in here as well. Some pretty flowers. Do you like the camera that's probably going to go i'll put them in with the ones that says photos just think there's something i need something there that's going to hold it down um. So pretty. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to pause it for now and I will pause it this time and then sew around and figure out how I'm going to make this closure rather than you sitting there because this is coming undone so I'm definitely going to sew around that maybe stick some pictures on there that would make cute okay I figured a way how I'm going to do this I'm going to just cut that in half and then glue it either side I've got some seam binding and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the seam binding to here start in the middle there and then just glue it thinking I'm doing this is so I know where I am and using seam binding because it's nice and thin I'm wondering whether I should glue that part or not maybe not we'll see how I go okay so then what I'm going to do is cut this in half that way it's going to be all good I wanted to do a heart thing for an engagement wedding thing then I'll get the stronger glue for this, I think. I really want it to make sure that it stays down. It just matches perfectly because it's such um, a good colour for it. So I wanted that, that colour. It's gonna look gorgeous. And then I don't think I will glue it. I can try. How pretty is that? I like it. See, ways and means of going about. And then I might even use some of that. Where's my little um, where's my key? I bet you, you guys can see it. There it is. We'll probably even attach that to that. Are we reckon people? I reckon. That would look cute. Just 
just done to one side. Probably needs to be a tad bigger, but you know, it's all good. Okay, now. Um, what I'm wanting is stuck. I might be better be careful. I might grab this and glue that in the book while I can. I'm still in camera. I think I am. One good thing about this setup is that um, I'm able to reach with when I had, was in my other studio. I was um, I had a bigger table and it just it was so big, just didn't reach across. Now, lobby. Where's the actual book? Scissors and everything everywhere. Find my little book. Here we are. I'm a messy crafter. What can I say? Got to get that blob off. That's going to annoy me. Okay. Would have been nice, actually, not to. I could have done a pocket there. Ah, oh, well, hindsight's a beautiful thing. I still might put something pretty up there anyway. Okay. Maybe I should have pulled it a little over. How cute is that? I may end up sticking some lace and something really pretty on top of there anyway, actually. I love that. She likes the um the um plastic look. So I may go with that and then maybe something pretty like that. I like that. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Just subtle but nice. Make up for the fact that I didn't, I didn't leave room for a tuck spot. Okay. Then I'm wondering if just that is enough, unless we want something. A little smaller to go on the side, have beautiful little flowers. Oh, they're pretty. There we go, I've got some teeny ones here. get like a little bouquet of flowers coming out there like that um, there's another one That's pretty. I mean, the one's nice, but eh, 
I've got all these other bits and pieces, I might as well utilise them. So pretty. And the colour's working really well. So. This is always a fun part of doing crafty. This <laughs> is. Love it. Underneath or on top? I don't know. Probably got too many in there to be honest. Underneath. Blue. The feather would have been nice too. Probably put that on the other side. Okay. And I was planning to use this. That works really well. Probably still can. Gleaming camera, guys. Sorry. Sometimes it's just the little things. Okay, I've got this left over which I might use on the tag. Okay, we're probably gumming for a fair bit. So, where are we? All the little bits and pieces that I've got in there. So, here's the I'm going to back that and I'm going to put some bits and pieces on there which I'll probably do off camera if I can get them in now that it's been sewn it's probably even harder probably should never have glued that middle part or I'll um, where's that other bit? There's the actual middle bit <laughs> which I was going to use. Okay, cut that and glue it. I think you just love the way that things go missing all the time. It's going to go in there like that. These bits and pieces away. Oh, 34. I'll be back in a tick. This is just going to go a little bit longer. I've got some of the book page. Um, which I will glue on here. I'm just going to make a thought. I was going to just make it and then, but I thought I'd show you. That's part of the actual book page from the book so that means a lot and I'll put Cassie on the top and then oops, got this which 
I'm going to be sticking on there as well. That's it. That's all I need. This has got glue on the back of that. There we go. Little tag and Maybe even a little flare in the corner there. Why? It's good when you've got stuff pre-cut out. You can just utilise it. And then take the edges. Tag. How cute is that? Okay. Move these bits and pieces. Now, a lot of those are going to be used throughout the book anyway, so. may even find some more of this and put it on the top just to even it out but I like that I think that's enough what do you think cute and it gives her a chance to put some photos and whatnot in there as well okay guys well that's enough for this part um, I'll probably in between make up some book pages and um, get that ready and then I'll collage thanks for watching guys Bye.